Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do uh, your weekly reading. This is April 19th through the 25th. Please remember it is general and the timing is flexible. Everything else you need to know is in the description box uh, if you want to request a personal reading or if you want to enter uh, my giveaway. And lastly, uh, if you're new, I do have a new channel called Heal to Love 333. It's a uh, healing, meditation, and manifestation channel. Uh, I have provided uh, quite a few links below uh, that, uh, what am I trying to say here, uh, that will help you with healing, okay, meditation, uh, and manifestation. So specifically, you know, to open up your chakras, uh, you know, popular ones are the root chakra for um, manifesting love and abundance and clearing blockages, healing, and then also the heart chakra, which does the same thing. I am a Reiki uh, healer, so I do include Reiki energy in my videos as well. So let's get started with your reading, Cancer. All right, what do we have here? Okay, so very uh, on point energy here for you, Cancer. This is uh, number 44, which is eight. Uh, I feel here, this is uh, your energy here, Cancer, woman holding a heart like the Queen of Cups. Um, but I get here with this woman holding a heart I feel there's this energy here of, um, you know, you're very kind, you're very uh, generous um, by nature here, but with the journey card here, there's some sort of decision you're trying to make. Now, I feel like this has to do with stability because you have the fours here. If you're seeing fours, uh, that can be important to you or two synchronicities. Uh, maybe uh, coming to you frequently but there is some journey here I feel there's a decision here maybe to take a new path um, but I feel here even though you have that kind heart or wear your heart on your sleeve I feel uh, this is something about stability okay you're wanting stability here so you may be focused focusing more on your career uh, this also can be about travel. You may be thinking about doing some sort of travel or doing something that you love. It can be a new passion or something that you just love to do. Okay, it just can be, you know, having some fun traveling, uh, whatever that is. But let's see what other cards you have. Okay, so your first card you have is uh, number 24, which is six. This is time for a nap. All right, so some of you may be needing to get some rest. Maybe some of you are traveling too much or working too much here. Uh, but uh, this is, don't be um, afraid to take a nap here because a little power nap can go a long way in the day. So let's see what other messages here. Look at this. You have number 18, which is nine. This is serendipity. Okay, this is a lucky energy. It's also, I see this as ascension. Some of you are raising your vibration, uh, feeling more awakened spiritually. You know, by nature, cancers are very empathic anyway and very connected here. But I feel, uh, I feel it, your vibration is very uh, raised here. This is a number nine for me. Nines are about destiny. So there's some sort of destined uh, decision here I feel you're trying to make. I feel too this is an energy of things uh, in your favor because the next card you have here is uh, number 48, okay, which is 12, which is three. And I'm also getting, this is serendipity, but I'm also getting the message here too. Um, some of you may be uh, receiving ascension symptoms, okay, right now. You may be receiving uh, some downloads uh, from Spirit in your angels here the universe that could be why uh, you're needing a nap because you're going through an ascension right now uh, and this is number 48 12 which is three and this is poised and i see this like on uh, the star card okay you are being positioned here um, 
where things are coming into alignment for you. There is a path here. I feel that you're being guided to take with the journey card. Um, but this is also, for me, this is a, de a destiny card. This is also a manifestation card. Uh, you attracting, especially with the serendipity, beautiful things in your life. So very positive, but I do feel like there's some sort of decision here. And this has to do with your peace and happiness is the energy that I'm getting. So let's pull some tarot, see what additional messages come out. All right, we already got one. Okay, first card out here, you have the King of Wands. So uh, this is Aries, Leo, and Sag energy. You have the Three of Pentacles. And you have the Strength card. A strong Leo energy, strong Sag. I'm sorry, strong Leo. Uh, energy and you have Aries and Sag and then you have Capricorn Taurus Virgo bottom of the deck look at that we have your energy again Cancer okay I feel here um, I feel like this is a card of where you are very in control and like I said I feel like you are very connected here spiritually um, I feel like you are moving in a direction towards success peace, joy, happiness. I also feel here um, there could be some sp uh, sort of spiritual lean, uh, learning that you are doing at this time I'm getting. This can also be moving towards something uh, of, uh, in a relationship towards commitment I'm getting as well. Uh, travel, okay, there is that journey card and this can also be a card of travel. I want to say here too, you have the Justice card, strong Libra energy, strong Taurus energy here as well. Or you could be dealing with another Cancer. I feel there's some sort of beautiful justice coming in for you, okay? I feel you are in control, you're moving forward with your goals, your dreams here, your passions. I sense um, you are going to receive the clarity and uh, balance that you're needing, okay? This is beautiful energy. I feel too, you're very, very connected right now to your higher power, okay, with uh, the serendipity. I feel the energy here too, you're being very, um, like I said, you're being guided uh, to a place where you are in alignment with source, spirit, the universe, angels, your higher power here. And there's some sort of action that you're needing to take, okay? I feel a couple different things. For a lot of you, I feel like this is about your path, you moving forward. It can even be your life purpose, going after your goals and dreams. But I also see a relationship scenario here too. You have the King of Wands and you have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like there may be somebody here um, who is going to take some sort of action somebody who even may be traveling towards you um, who wants to work on a connection or a relationship if it is not a relationship for you all right and it, it has to do with your goals and your dreams i do sense here there this is about you taking action there is some sort of collaboration or teamwork you may get help okay it looks like there some of you are tired or exhausted but for others it can also be um you know you may be partnering with someone all right or needing assistance now you have the strength card so this is an energy here i feel um an energy whatever your situation here this is about uh, holding back those emotions, being strong, having the courage to take some sort of action here in the situation. I feel with your courage and your strength in this situation is what's going to help you uh, move forward towards your success. So let's, um, and it may be that decision you're having to make, having the courage to make that decision, taking that action that you're needing to take. I feel with this time for a nap card too, if it's a relationship, you could be on a break with someone or there could be distance uh, as well. There could even be physical dif distance with this journey card, but let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have for cancer? All right, so you have this six of pentacles. 
the nine of pentacles very nice earth strong earth energy and you have the knight of wands and bottom of the deck here you have the page of pentacles all right i feel there's a message coming through there's a message of good news coming towards you i feel like it's coming in pretty quickly but for other you know i feel this could be for from somebody that you love or care about and it doesn't have to be a lover uh, but there is some sort of good news it can even be financial good news you know a sum of money coming in for you because you do also have the six of pentacles which could be you could be receiving some uh, money okay a sum of money here uh, but for others i feel like this could be a love situation someone uh, wanting to take some sort of action to work on things okay to bring a uh, balance into the connection or even uh, some offer here i feel of commitment so let's go through these so six of pentacles like i said i feel with the king of wands i i feel like some of you may be receiving some sort of money okay this can also be um, some sort of action i that you're needing to take as i said there is some sort of decision here okay this is something that will bring a lot of um, balance for you but it also can be you helping somebody else out as well okay if you're in that position to help somebody out i feel like uh, you may even do that too you have the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles now it's not about male or female it's about the energy bit, but as i said i feel there could be somebody coming your way uh, with some sort of offer wanting to work on things with you in a relationship okay there is a message of good news now if this is not relationship again this is uh, material wealth here this is somebody who's very abundant with the nine of pentacles all right so you may be i feel like with this three of pentacles uh whatever you do uh in career or maybe you have a side business but i feel like there's a branching out so it doesn't necessarily mean that you're working with other people you may be hiring people to help you um, or branching out with your business is what i'm getting here okay or your career you have the knight of wands so this is very passionate energy so i feel like you're going after what you're very passionate here if this is love for you this can be somebody a, a new lover coming into your life it can be somebody uh, that you already know somebody too who could uh, have been somebody that you've been on and off with or this person may have been inconsistent or you know maybe a little bit flighty here maybe they weren't making any type of commitment in the past uh, but you have very uh, abundant energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is in your center of your reading. This shows me uh, v doing very well financially. Uh, also, um, very attractive energy. Having the time of your life. Like I said, you may be having fun uh, doing travel. I feel like your energy cancer is right where you're supposed to be so let's pull some more cards for cancer april 19th through the 25th all right knight of cups you have the nine of wands and look at that eight of wands bottom of the deck here look at that there's that decision there's that journey card two of wands energy all right I feel this is a situation, something that you're very passionate about, that you're, you're, uh, I feel like you're wanting, okay, you're looking into the future, you're trying to make some sort of decision here, there is a choice on which path to take, um, but this also can be, for some of you, if this is love, I feel like this could be somebody returning, somebody who's thinking about the future, somebody who could live at a distance, I'm getting that, very, that energy very strongly. Uh, but you have the Knight of Cups, okay? Again, there's some sort of offer coming in that I feel is going to bring you some financial gain. If it's a relationship, I feel like it's somebody who may be finally taking that action, coming towards you, okay? So whether you know this person or you don't know this person, 
there is uh, some romantic offer coming in or this has to do with your career you have nine of wands I feel this is something that you've patiently been waiting for it's a situation where there may have been a lot of challenges okay before you have gotten to this very nice energy here this is very independent energy very grounded energy Ooh. <laughs> sorry about that my dog <laughs> the doorbell rang and my dog just like went off she's not in the room but so i apologize so this is energy here where you've planted the seed and now it's finally growing okay your harvest is starting to come in here beautiful and then look here you have the eight of wands energy look at that that's that fast moving energy okay something very beautiful and passionate is coming towards you this is that energy so if this is career this is uh, having to do with um, a business okay a side business or you're taking a new journey to do something very creative passionate it's gonna move forward very quickly here okay if not this is definitely a love situation somebody is coming towards you and for some of you like i said i'm getting strong energy this is somebody coming from a distance this is somebody very passionate about you you know it could be your soulmate coming in here if you, if you don't have anybody in love uh, this is somebody coming towards you very passionately i feel you've been waiting for this for quite some time i it's very romantic energy very loving energy okay but there is some sort of decision here okay as i said this can also be somebody returning but i feel like you have a decision here with the journey card as well so there is some sort of path you're having to take uh let's see if i want to clarify anything here I'm going to clarify this Knight of Wands. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Knight of Wands here, please? Okay, look at that. The Judgment. Oh, my gosh. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cancer. I'm getting, like, really excited for you. Uh, you have the wheel on the bottom of the deck. So there is. Here's that serendipity. Here is that poised energy here the star energy something you've been hoping for wishing for waiting for i feel is definitely happening with the wheel it's it's blessings coming in things turning in your favor and look here you have the judgment card so i feel this is good karma coming your way this is also uh, i feel someone returning from your past okay it's coming in very quickly here so you know if this is about a career or, or work situation a passion uh this is being this is like i feel like a gift see that sparkle there a gift from your angels here this is you reaping rewards from um uh, what you have given okay all that kind giving energy that you have cancer this is the reward i feel that you are receiving okay if this has to do with your career path your passions if it doesn't i feel this is somebody that is returning from your past some something that you've been hoping for wishing for is coming your way all right with the judgment card okay this is divinely guided this is something that uh, i feel here was meant to be it had to happen and there may have been uh, things that needed to be learned in this situation and look at that you have the ace of pentacles and you have the hierophant now you could be dealing with the strong taurus but i feel this is this is this is twofold two different you know ways i see this this is long-term stability financially coming for you as i said you're being placed in a position where things are coming into alignment you're ascending okay you're awakening you're ascending this is also blessings and luck on your side with this wheel of fortune and uh, this also can be long-term commitment and marriage from someone who is coming in somebody who may have not been ready to commit in the past but this is, can also be new love for you if you do not have anybody in your life 
wow counselor this is an amazing reading and you've had amazing readings i feel um this is kind of the energy that has been coming okay and you can see each week i feel like it's been getting stronger and stronger and i'm actually getting chills <laughs> i got chills for the pisces reading too the pisces reading was very beautiful so if you have pisces in your chart you should check that one out too i'm pulling one last message from spirit and your message says dearest cancer we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right it's never too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own you don't need to carry this around you can set yourself free even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done it's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others and that is the opposite of what you really desire right imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive you can do it everyone over here believes in you and adores you beautiful message here and i feel with that message you know this is part of your ascension this is part of you rising above into that star energy so wow cancer this is an amazing reading i hope you enjoyed it again details are below uh, if you want to enter the giveaway or um check out my new channel i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love